Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now let's solve this particular problem. In this problem it is said that the body is composed of slender bar which has a mass per unit length which has a rho mass per unit length. Right, so this rho is equal to mass per unit length. Right, and it is said that determine the moment of the weight of the body about point O. So let's say that this wing of the body is has a mass of m1 let's say and let's say that this wing has a mass of m2 and let's say that this wing has a mass of m3 right so we can write that from this equation we can write that m is equal to rho into l right so if if this is the mass of this wing so then m1 will be equal to rho rho is constant right and the length of this wing is b right so the mass of this wing is rho b and similarly the mass of this wing m2 we can write m2 is rho and the length of this wing which is a right so this is m2 and similarly we can write m3 so m3 will be equal to rho times the length of this portion of this body right so this is rho h so now we are required to determine the moment of the weights of the body right so if these are the masses of these three wings so then we can say that w1 which will be the weight of this wing will be equal to m1 g right and m1 is rho b times g right and that w1 will be acting vertically downward at the midpoint of this wing right so let me represent that weight so that weight will be acting vertically downward here like this this is that w1 similarly we can write w2 which will be equal to m2 g and m2 is equal to rho a rho a g and again that uh, w2 will be acting at the midpoint of this wing vertically downward in the negative z axis this is w2 and similarly we can write w3 will be equal to m3 times g and m3 is rho h so we can write that this is rho h g right and that w3 will be acting vertically downward here like this right so this is w3 so now as we can see that this uh, w3 is passing through this point o and since we are determining the moment about that point o so since the perpendicular distance of this w3 from that point o is zero so this w3 will not produce the moment about that point o so this means that this part of the body the weight of this part of the body is not producing the moment about this point o right so we can remove this w3 so only w1 and w2 are producing the moment about that point o now the moment about o will be moment about o will be equal to the moment about o due to weight 1 plus the moment about o due to weight 2 right so then we have to find this mo1 so mo1 will be equal to r cross w1 and let's say that the moment arm for w1 is let's say r1 right so then we have to define r1 so r1 will be from the point of rotation to the line of action of that w1 right so this is r1 so we can write r1 is we can see that uh, this r1 has two components right it it has one component which is acting in the positive z direction and it has one component which is acting in the positive y direction right so we can write that r1 is equal to r1x plus r1y right so this is that r vector so as we can see that uh, in the x direction plus r1z as well right so this r1 has no component in the x direction so this is 0i right and r1y so it has this length is b divided by 2 right so we can write that this is plus b divided by 2 along the y axis is right so this is j and this is h along the z axis is the component is h right so we can write that this is plus h k and the w1 weight is acting vertically downward in the negative z axis so we can write that 
uh, W1 is equal to minus and the weight W1 is rho BG. So, we can write this is rho BG in the negative k direction, right? So, now we can use this equation. This will be I, J and K and this is 0. This is 0 B divided by 2 and this is H and this is in K, right? So, this is 0, 0 and minus rho B, G. So, this will be equal to So, this is minus rho B G into B divided by 2 minus 0 and this is 0 times this is 0 right. So, and this is also 0. So, this was for this was multiple this is for i right. So, this is minus rho B G times B divided by 2 into i right. So, now we can simplify this right. So, we can write that m o due to weight 1 is equal to we can write that this is minus rho b b square g divided by 2 i right. And from inspection we can see that this w 1 is parallel to the z axis. So, it will not produce the moment about the z axis and the line affection of this w 1 is passing through that y axis. So, the perpendicular distance of this w 1 from that y axis is, is 0. So, it will not produce the moment about the y axis. So, it is only producing the moment about the x axis is right and the magnitude of that moment will be w 1 times uh, b divided by 2 and w 1 is rho b g right. So, we get that same moment and this w 1 is producing the moment about the x axis in this direction right. So, if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the negative i direction. So, here we get that minus i. Similarly, if we uh, write m o due to weight 2. So, this will be equal to r cross w 2 and let us say for w 2 the moment arm is let us say r 2. So, now this will be our moment arm like this. So, Again, we can write that R2 vector. So, R2 vector. So, as we can see that this red one is that R2 vector. So, it has one comb which is acting in the positive x direction and, and the length of that component, the magnitude of that component is E divided by 2. So, we can write that this is plus E divided by 2 i. This is in the positive i direction and it has one comb which is acting in the positive z direction, right? and in the along the y axis it has no component right. So, we can write that this is plus 0 j and plus this is h k right. So, this is that R 2 vector and similarly we can write that W 2 and W 2 magnitude is rho a g. So, we will write rho a g and it is acting in the negative k direction right. So, again we can use that uh, determinant method. So, R 2 this is A divided by 2 0 and H and this is 0 0 minus rho A G K right. So, this is rho A G. So, this is this is 0 right. So, for i this is 0, 0 i for j we can write with j we need to write minus sign. So, this is minus this is 0 i minus j and this is a divided by 2 into minus rho a g right and this is 0 and for k we get 0. So, this is 0 k. So, if we simplify this. So, this is minus into minus plus rho a square g divided by 2 into j. So, now the 
total moment right the moment the combined moment of w1 and w2 about that point o will be equal to the summation of both of these moments right so we can write that mo1 plus mo2 so mo1 is this is this thing which is minus rho b square g divided by 2i plus this rho b square g divided by 2j further we can take uh, rho rho g divided by 2 as common right so this will be minus b square i plus a square g right so this is the moment uh, about that point o due to the weight of this slender bar so this is the solution of this particular problem